Okay. All right, we're back in. Took a while, but I'm back in. Let's see what else they've got. His wounds are deep, but he may yet be saved. Go and help the others. Right now, we're off. He needs to calm down. Have you, have you come to help us? Too, too late. Too late, my fanny. But, no, I'm not gonna say anything. Why the horde? Are there only villagers who will survive? I can only hope others manage to flee. But if the rest have been turned to beasts by the twelve. Let us do what we can to see about the damage spreads no further. And no matter what comes, we must keep our spirits high. At least we ourselves suffer a similar fate. I can't tend to the test. Uh, pray look after Mista. No, uh, no doubt uh, what we have uh, here uh, weighs even heavier on his heart than ours. Rastia. Oh, Matthias, Matthias, it's the Yervet, uh, the Elder. He is hurt, but praise be to the sisters, he still lives. Uh, it's like young Rastia here has uh, told me everything. I have uh, not the words to express my gratitude of your aid. When the heavens begun to burn, we were afraid, uh, but did our best to carry on as we always have. Until uh, today, when those unholy beasts come, came pouring into our village, a flood of m uh, midnight. There are no words to describe what followed. Men and women I have known since they were babes struck down my, uh, by the creatures only to rise again to join the murderous horde in the guise of those same hideous fiends. In that chaos, a handful of villagers fled for their lives. I can only hope they have found uh, their way uh, to safety. Nasia, do you perchance remember uh, Kursif and Mehavan, uh, the young couple who always uh, bought uh, your freshest sketches? How could I forget, Elder, when I uh, first came to peddle my wares, desperate to eck out a uh, living, they showed me such kindness. Others shunned me as uh, an outsider, as is their way, but Kurosef and Mayovan uh, bought my fish and sung its praises. They turned my fortunes around. Alas, I fear they are in terrible danger. I saw them running towards Agama uh, Temple, one of those beasts in, in close pursuit. They had uh, their child, still but a tiny babe, to elude these fiends while uh, caring for one is so young is an impossible task. Surely I beg you, go to their aid. He's like, mm, nah, I already got their money. I want to help them, yep. But a fisherman, I cannot face beasts on my own. Will you come with me? Oh, thank you. Agam uh, Agama Temple uh, lies to the west of here. We must hurry. Why don't you stay here and tend to this old man and you don't see the horror befall your favorite customers? How about that? Uh, I smell death, man. And it's crazy because I'm pretty sure some people that haven't finished Endwalker are looking at a blue sky right now. But it gives me this feeling like this is my story and uh, no one else's. I like it. Temple's just ahead. It was built for those who worship uh, saints, but sadly fallen into despair in recent years. 
My friends made it this far. No doubt they are hiding uh, somewhere amidst the ruins. No, please stay back. Oh, okay, we gotta go. Wait here. Yes, I understand. Giving me the history lesson out of nowhere. like an elephant nose? Sorry for the bright lights. They did not make it. man lies motionless on the ground, bearing a grievous wound. I'm sorry, Matthias. I tried to stay behind, but I couldn't. No, it can't be. Is someone, anyone... My arms so heavy and my legs, I can't feel my legs. My wife fled with our daughter. Why is this face handsome? Than, ha more handsome than all the others. <laughs> I need to find them. Need to be with them. I need... No. You must stay strong. More time. I thought I had... I don't want to die. Can... There we go. We'll take care of your daughter. You may rest. Thank you. Please find them. He still lives, uh, she still lives, uh, and she has their child. All right, let's go. Forgive me, Kurosaf. Once we have saved your wife and child, we will return and lay you to rest. Well said. Go away, monkey. Didn't we just pass him then? Seek no tracks or signs of the travel, and the child must be somewhere elsewhere. <laughs> oh, my botanist is gonna have to level around here. The drums are hitting, man. I, I, I hear drums, and I have to dance. I have to, I have to shake it up. I, it's, it's contagious. A lot of people that love drums would have to relate. All you drummers out there, let me know. All you musicians out there, tell me what what kind of what kind of music just like what kind of instrument makes you have to move? There's some instrument instruments that that are particularly you just like to listen, doesn't particularly like to dance, but there's some instrument out there that just requires you to move. Oh, 
like drums, it's for me. Drums, it's, it's gotta be. You're nice. Bad snake, bad snake. through the area recently with no evidence of passage. <laughs> Did you see no sign of them? I found nothing. Perhaps the beasts have uh, chased them farther uh, to the uh, out the village. A god, oh gods above, I beseech you, pray deliver me and her a little one to safety. Man, that's... Oh, don't be like that, man. He's getting a little shivery. He's getting a little shaky. Meanwhile, in the skies above Thavn here. Let me turn this on. No more enemies to trouble us here. It's me. How fare you below? Understood. I will inform Vritra. Chaos and panic sweep Razad Han. And many more have succumbed to the transformations. Amidst the fray, Ahawan fell, protecting a grief-stricken father. <sighs> My friends fight alongside your radiant host to secure the capital. Beasts have been sighted in Palakistan as well. We have Aww. divided our forces in hopes of quelling the threat there. Man, that's the face of a sad dragon. I've never seen a, a sad dragon before. Is that we now know what triggers the transformation, as my companions tell it. So it is the very fear and despair in their hearts which inflict this abhorrent punishment upon them. A nightmare from which my children will never awake. Oh, capricious and cruel fate, they are undeserving of such condemnation. Yeah. I have a feeling the flower is going to take a very big part in will all this. Will you wallow in sorrow or rise to the occasion? Razat Han is leaderless. Before he passed, Ahawan sought to reveal the truth to his people. Honor his wishes. To what end? To breed a new conflict between dragon and man? Dude, they worship you. They... These claws could reduce thee to shreds with a touch. These jaws crush thy bones to dust. Only through my proxy could I walk with my children. Without him, I am a bringer of fear. No different from the beasts which beleaguer them. I mean, I can understand the discrimination. Perhaps so. But this is the final days, man. Only in death were Hraesvelger and Shiva united. Indeed, whenever man and dragon have come together, death has ever been the inevitable result. It was our fear of your kind that sparked a nigh endless war. Fear and hate of which Nidhogg drank deep as he laid waste to my homeland. And in turn, I took my revenge on his brood. Blood for blood, pain for pain. I thought nothing of theirs, only of mine. 
And yet, were the chasm between us too vast and too deep, Preisvelga would not have borne his sail to battle and our rescue. He would never have entrusted a mortal champion with one of his eyes. And the Dragonsong War would still rage on. True. True. And I would still wage a never-ending war of violence and vengeance. The future of our star be damned. <laughs> you wouldn't be riding a dragon. He'd be stabbing you in the back I right now. I cannot speak for Ahuan's greater goals. Yet I know that he served you. Served your people long and true. In this time of unprecedented crisis, he turned to you. You could do worse than to place your trust in him. It will not be easy, but the future of Radzid Han hangs in the balance. Trust your people, man. You love them, trust them. Oh, it's the big booty sucking best ba ladies. Oh, oh, I, I see a fight scene here. I am ready. That's my boy. That's my boy. <laughs> the hour has come, Vritra. It's all or nothing. He said the line. I love it when they say the line in a trailer. It just makes me hype for no reason. It's like, why are you hype for this? Because he said the line. Uh, if Mev of uh, oh, oh, she, she and her child are in grave danger, whatever we to do, gods have mercy. But do you want to turn into a beast like the others? Jesus. <laughs> you cannot let fear consume you. Fear consume me. What are you talking about? Then I, too, could become a beast? I, I understand, I think. A scene to the wounded. How did uh, the two of you fare? Did you find your friends? I hope we can find them. I hope it's just not like... Well, it's over. <laughs> kind of a sad ending right there. I see. In that case, let us help uh, you find the mother and child. Sounds good. Before we leave, we must endure the village. Uh, we'll be safe in our absence. Alize and I will uh, patrol the area and search them uh, for more beasts. Would you and Masia speak to Elder uh, Yerobet? Uh, pray explain to him a situa the situation and join us as soon as you are able. You two be safe. We will save uh, her and her chi uh, child. We can do that much for uh, Kerasa. Man, these names. These names are... I I'll try. I'll try not to skip the names. And I will say it horribly. But at least I'll do them as the service of saying the name. I'll do it, but it's gonna be wrong. I know it's wrong. I've already said so many things wrong already. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I bought the game. I'm heartened to see uh, you both are uh, safe, uh, but what of the family? We found Kurosaw, but he... You say no more. I understand. We have lost another of our dear friends. Karasov may be gone, but there is still hope for Miravan and uh, their child. Please find them. And if in no your search you come across anyone else who escaped the slaughter, pray tell them what has happened. I will do my best to keep the villages safe and their spirits high. Come, let us rejoin your friends at once. Wait, did I... Let me check. Of course. Of course. Of course. 
there was one time like i think two day two months ago two days wow two months ago like i finished uldaz attuning of uh of uh yeah, I finished Old Dogs and Tuning, and I was like, uh, why did I... It's 2011? I'm pleased to report that the vicinity appears to be uh, beast-free. No doubt thanks to your uh, earlier efforts. And with that, let us resume our search for your friend and her child. Where should we begin, Masia? You two take the lead. Keep an eye out uh, for the beast and anyone in need of help. Very well. We make for Perusa as quickly as we are able. With me. Alright, let's go, Chocobo. Let's go, Chocobo. Mm -hmm. shows the paladin as uh as the poster boy for this one like literally the protector you know oh that's cool nice okay head back to the village Matthias, wait. Perusia lies up ahead, but something ter terrible has happened. The beasts have come, and many have already been killed. Alphano and Alizé have gone to do what they can, but there are so, so many more uh, than I can count. You must be ready. Bring it. Die not here. I wish I could actually act out the voices, but I'm not really good at that. And also, it's hard to concentrate like that. It's gonna be absolutely horrible if you wanna hear it. leaving her alone uh, okay she's fine and we move on <laughs> there's somebody up top but let's not do that one just yet that one right there let's do this one over here but uh, no that's the one that I was talking about oh, over here well they found some people over here oh I guess we're going the same way I guess it doesn't really matter
Oh, but no, it's over there. This one over here. Well, he changed already. That's a bad way to go, man. Horrible way to go. Help. Man. This is some blood plus shit out here. Or is it blood C? I think it's blood plus. How far are the others? They are safe. Some didn't make it though. I see. You've seen uh, to all the beasts in sight. In that case, let's have uh, everyone gather in front of the temple. Still haven't seen that couple yet. Or still haven't seen the mother and the one dude. Now? With this music? That is a lot of people. Courage, friend. The pain will pass. Has anyone seen Mervan? Where could she be? We've dealt with all the blasphemies and made certain no villagers are still in hiding. Good work. We've otherwise tended to the wounded as best we can. What will become of us? Help is on the way, surely. We may have to abandon our homes now, but we will return someday. But where can we go? Is anywhere even safe? To the moon, son! What? Nothing, no, nothing. That I cannot say. Well, I can. Nowhere's safe. Run all you like, but there's no escape in these things. Oh, oh she's starting. She's, she's... And even if I could... <laughs> it's too late for my family. She's over here grieving. She's over here grieving. Kill her before she changes. <laughs> she's out here grieving. For her family. This isn't good. The more they dwell on the tragedy, the more likely we are to lose them, too. Maybe... Maybe we shall all just hug it out. My friends, this... This is a place of worship. Oh, he's saying we should pray. Ugh. Should your oh. heart quake with sadness, cast your mind to the heavens and remember... Ah, uh, you shouldn't have said that. The ladies... Remember the teachings of the old gods. Did they not implore us to stand fast when waves of sorrow break against our shores? <laughs> Everybody turns to him. You dumbass, there ain't no god. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> know this, my children. There is more ugliness than beauty in this world. It's true. To live is to suffer. To drink of calamity and drown in anguish. To toil and be tested, always and ever. Tis a perilous path you walk. Death lurks in the dark, and is the sole promise that awaits at journey's end. You will tremble with terror. You will weep tears of anger and despair. Thanks, old man. But do not avert your eyes. See your life for what it is. Did this uh, man just have character development then in five you minutes? see how the hardships make you strong. Bruh, did he just have character development in five minutes? Every doubt reforged as scales for your armor. 
every agony to temper your blade. I think it's alright to cry. But to know you're not alone. I don't even know these people and I feel it. <laughs> Thank you, lad. We'd almost forgotten who we are. It's one thing to have an epidemic just happen. But it my has... undying gratitude to you as well, my friends. To have your, like, friends and loved ones change you and... You were searching for Mevan, no? Yeah. We must return home. I pray you help the boy find his friend. Gladly. We dispatched what beasts we could, but the roads are still dangerous. Stay together and go in safety. It was very impressive, what you did back there. Those words seemed to resonate with your people. Matteo had some character development too. They should. They were the first spoken unto our ancestors by the divinity of legend. I'm easily upset, and fish are wont to flee a temperamental hand. So I recite the teachings over and over to calm myself. They're lovely and inspiring to hear, though I imagine they were born of great misfortune. They are born of life. There's as much bad as good in it. More, many would attest. All the more reason to appreciate the good when you can. I won't argue with that. It's, it feels so good to have, like, so many different cultures, you know, voicing so many of In these darkness, characters. Darkness, seek joy. Joy. I've been thinking about this line. Surrender not to sadness, and see beyond despair. Walk free, and bear the light for others to follow. I've heard this line. Th that line has been resonating me ever since she said that. I'm just like, okay. And with that, let us see if we can't find Mervyn. I wonder if my flower changed during that. Did you see? That beast was chasing someone. Really? Got the time to get to work. Over there, my view was blocked by the trees, but I'm sure I saw someone being chased by a beast. Matthias, go with Matia and search along the river. Alpha and I will uh, circle around from the soil. Understood. I'll use the power of this whale, and we will crush thine enemies into dust. Leave no stone unturned. Oh, 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 oh. oh snap. Boss battle? Yo, this looks nice. Is that Ganesha? Whoa, whoa, oh, you can jump in there. Okay, gotcha. Look around. This music just reminds me of Wolf's Rain for some reason. There they are. Oh, snap. Oh, crap. No, no. 
No, I'm, I'm short of it. Okay, all right, we got Come our on. answer. Oh shit, she's hot. I mean, no, focus, Don't, focus. Please. Dang, she, she tried. Got him. You know how much damage that is? Nice one, Alphano. You hit my girl. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, he's. Oh, okay. <gasps> Yo, am I still. Damn, that must have hurt. God have mercy. Oh, shit. We diving. We're going right in. I didn't think I was gonna dive. I thought I was gonna have my character stand there the whole time and wait until she's dead. She got grabbed by the head and thrown. She must be dead. You know what that does to it? Wait, where's the baby? The baby, the baby, the, the baby. Close before you battered and broken, her death no doubt came swiftly. Her infant, uh, however, uh, damn it, fuck. Go, 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 go. Damn. To your eyes, if she yet lives, you cannot tell, but... Yeah, doesn't matter. Bring up the baby. Bring the baby up. the baby. The, I pick up the baby? I picked up the baby, didn't I? So I did have the baby. I was looking at key items. I swear if there was a baby in key items, I would have laughed. I'm just saying. <laughs> baby in <and> key. <laughs> She's so cold, Elfano. The child is alert and I see no wounds and yet <sighs> she grows weaker. My spells can do no more. What she needs is a change of clothes and a warm bed. We must hurry back. Understood. Not now. I'll take care Nazia, of it. Take the child. They really give you this feeling oh, of damn it. It appears we've made enough noise to be heard for miles around. More will be upon us ere long. Let's get to work. We make our stand here. Matya, can you take her back to the village? But the child. All, all by myself. Really? You can't be serious. The beasts will follow you home unless we stop them here. And so we shall. Be strong, Matsya. Her life is in your hands. Yeah, you heard us. Don't fuck it up. Right. I... I can do it. I know you can. We'll keep them busy, Matsya. Go! Quickly! Let's get to work. He was worried about himself almost there. 
I'm just like, what are you doing? Steady. You know the way. Yeah, you know these places. Oh no. 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 Not you too. Can you rock her maybe? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. To live is to suffer, to drink of calamity. It is a perilous path. Death lurks in the dark. No, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Do not avert your eyes. See, see your life for what it is. See how the hardships make you strong. Every doubt reforged. Damn. Every agony. No. Oh. Oh. No. Oh, they got. They got. <laughs> Jesus. They got gooned. What's gooned? They got dragooned. Do you know what I mean? The divinity. Nay, but one who would deliver thee just the same. Please, you must save the child. She is all that remains of Mevan and Grasif. Please. Seems the babe's taken a liking to you. Well, well, well. It looks like Nanny McPhee is Nanny McPhee. Let us convey thee to thy home. <laughs> I spied our friends as we flew in. They appeared to be holding their own against the Horde. Of course, you know it. Beecher becoming a daddy. Right. That's the last of them. We should hurry and find Matsia. Wait, he had help from on high. Wait, how do I know that? That's the what, like divine aid. A fine battle it must have been. Shame I missed it. Estinian, it was you who came to Matia's aid. I was only along for the ride. Vritra was the one who saw the boy was in need. The two are headed back to the village. Where the worm will honor Ahiwan's wishes and finally reveal himself to his people. Perhaps so. Will you go and join them? There's something I need to do first. Mervyn gave her life so that her child might live. She deserves better than to be left to drift alone. This is why I fucking love Alice. She deserves to be laid to rest beside her husband, at least. Will you help me? No. Yes, of course. Obviously. Yo, she had the... She had the gahones to throw a rock at this mother and say, like, Take that! Minus two damage. Bludgeoning.
We have done what we can. Tis the village of uh, Palax uh, stand to perform the funeral rite. Nothing else. Raven and Corisopha died as they lived as themselves and not as beasts. Their souls will find peace in the ethereal sea. That's gotta be fucked up to not be... You know, not to have like a life after death and stuff like that. Hmm. Ooh, controller. Some crafting food. You are ready then? In that case, let's lead uh, to the Pelican stand. Uh, no doubt Vitra is waiting us. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What? Uh, uh, oh, oh, this is fishing log. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I am, I am lost. We didn't bury them, though. That was kind of heart clenching. I, I honestly thought that they might have died. Rest easy, for all is well here. Young Matsya uh, returned with the babe safe in his arms. Owing to a warm bed, the girl uh, hath already begun to regain her strength. Less joyous uh, received was word of the mother and the father's fate, as well as that of their transformed neighbors. How many children of Thavir must we lose to this uh, calamity? Mothers and fathers, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. Every death, another void that can never be filled. We who survive that must carry the weight of their memory as we strive to regain a semblance of what we have lost. Kresef and Maven's babe is a child of Thavnir as well. I thank you for returning her to us safe. Oh, most great and merciful worm, I'm, I have uh, not the words to express my gratitude. They say that uh, were it not for you, brave Matsya and the child uh, would have uh, been lost to us forever. Long had I heard the rumors that my, uh, mighty Dragoon, Dragoon? Dragon had forward a pact of friendship with the Statrap, but never would I have ex expected such a kind and gentle soul. Truth in part, but not in whole. This is the best dragon right here. I am Vitra, and for years uncounted a half this isle served as mine abode. Oh, sorry. Basically, he said he's actually the king. Are my ears to be believed? You were the true satrap all along? Is that Nidhana? What are you doing here? Matsya, don't be weird now. That's the girl that you like right there. I heard from the Radiant that you had uh, gone to help the people of Palax uh, stand in their time of need. And so I and uh, several of my colleagues from the great wor work came to offer our services. The alchemists have already brewed up some potions for Maven's daughter. But enough about us. You and your role are the far greater enigma. If you were the true Satrap all along, could it be that young Varshness was created to serve as your emissary? Thou didst suspect the boy was but a simulacrum? I had suspected that somebody already knew. A rumor was circulated for many years around the high crucible that our most skilled alchemists were once commissioned by the Satrap's family in secret to fashion a mammoth in indistinguishable from a living boy. Looking at Var Vashan and the uh, knowledge, I simply to uh, put two and two together. 
Oh, so there was gonna be some cracks in the secret. I was not alone in drawing this conclusion, but like me, they no doubt recognized that the Satchef was using the Sigilacum to work more closely with his people and decided not to press the issue. I had always assumed one of Eowyn's associates was manipulating it from afar, though the truth is indeed far more surprising. It is an honor to meet you in Fles, Master Vitra. Pray allow me to express my gratitude. If you had not believed in and given us unto us your scales, I too, I do not know where we would be. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Twas thou and thy uh, fellow alchemists that fashioned the means to unmake the towers. You were the uh, saviors not only of Ratatan, but the star. Far too kind you are, Master Vitra, but the star yet wants for salvation. Once more will my colleagues and I commit the knowledge and resources at your disposal to the mission of aiding the people in this their darkest hour. Twould seem this place is in good hands. I would return to see uh, how Razatad fares. What will you do, Scions? We need to go see our friends as well. No worry for the survivors uh, we meet, met at uh, Perusia. Shall we pay them a visit uh, before making our way back? Can do. In that case, might I ask a favor? Nothing too brute, uh, brute or burdensome, I promise. This way. Need to simmer just a bit longer, I'd say. What simmer? In the meantime, I was hoping I might uh, ask you a few questions. The red sky, these terrible beasts. What in the name of the sisters is happening here in Thavnir? I will explain everything in literally uh, just a few seconds. Oh my, that's a rather a lot to take in. It would seem that the situation is even more grave than we uh, suspected. Thank you, friend. My colleagues and I will use your knowledge to see if it can further uh, further our own re research. Ooh, excuse me. And with that, here you are, a pot of a piping hot chai tea, brewed from my uh, own s secret recipe of spices and tea leaves, together uh, with uh, hearty uh, helpings of rich milk and purest sugar. Mmm, that sounds good right now made enough of uh, everyone in the village. Might that trouble you to deliver a few cups? The drink has uh, medicinal properties then? Not in the least, the ingredients are quite ordinary. It is very tasty though, and has a way of lifting spirits. The spicy aroma and distinctive sweetness of chai is a simple everyday pleasure on our island. Sometimes the best medicine is the simplest. A lovely sentiment, Nidhana. It's like by all means, allow us to assist. While you lot, uh, d uh, distribute hot beverages, I'll do a sweep for errant, errant uh, beast to slay. A far less uh, arduous task, no doubt. When you finish, uh, look uh, for me uh, at the wakeful Tirana. That's just how Astinian is. He's like, and I will patrol and not do this menial task. Dang, this girl's going through it. She was being strong and at the same time too pig-headed is the word? Too headstrong. Here's some tea. Enjoy. Enjoy. 
Enjoy your tea. I like how every... Every, um... What's it called? Every, um... Expansion... Makes you... F treats you like a, uh... A, uh, what's it called? A waiter. It's like, could you do me a favor? Could you hand out some bread to people? And I'm like, what? Sure, yeah. And it's cool, though, because you get to hear more about the people and a little bit more about the lore. Um... Is that everybody? I think I'm missing one more. There's probably one hiding somewhere. No, I already checked there. Sorry, I just want to be left alone. My best friend and I, we fled the village together. One of the beasts took him and it was all I could do to run. All the while I could hear this monstrous voice screaming my name. Jesus. Yeah, you're gonna need three things of tea. This is for me. We used to drink that chai tea together, shared stories over steaming. Oh man, I, this didn't help at all. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, friend. The pain may never pass, but I must press on for all the same uh, for his memory and for we who must remember. Oh, so they were lovers. Damn. This is heartening to hear indeed. The final days show no signs of abating, but that is all the more reason that we must try to keep our composure. Our lives have been uh, forever changed. The people we have lost will never return to us. Those tragedies will long weigh on our hearts. But we have the capacity to live in with our suffering, to carry with agony till we too join the fallen uh, in death. It is not a surrender, but a cognition for it is only in acceptance that we uh, find the strength to move forward. Is that an aether current I see? Masia is eyeing you as if there is something he wants to say. You finished the lyrics. Might I talk with you for a moment? I was curious to know what has become of Maven uh, the mains. We buried them a little bit farther far away. Thank you, friend. Surely they will be able to rest peacefully by each other's side. And for the child, it will not be easy for her growing up without parents, but I promise to do what I can. Once she is able to eat solid food, the fish I catch will help nourish her. You gotta make her eat fish all her life? Mm -hmm. I don't know about all that, bro. Well, if he's finished delivering the chai, I do believe everyone has a piping hot cup. You can almost believe there's a magic at work. Uh, how their tension fades with every sip. Let us pray with uh, public stands uh, has seen the last of those transformations, at least for now. They are still at risk as every village in Thavnir, like as not. Uh, still, I trust we can leave uh, this place in the care of our friends from the Radiant and the High Crucible. Shall we return to Razatan? By all means, do not let us keep you further. There are still many who would have need of our wisdom and strength to deliver them from this terrible calamity. And I will do that I, I can as well. I will bring rations and supplies from the Akiali. Uh, we have plenty to share. And let us find a Stinian and be on our way. Where did he wander off to again? The Wakeful Tarana? Uh, n near the bridge of Razatan, as I recall. Very well, then. 
Over there. I got some side mission to do here, but I will do that with my second character. There's still showers everywhere. It's like everywhere. Alphano told me everything. Full glad am I to hear that people are safe. Likewise, you will be pleased to know I found no evidence of lingering beasts in the jungles and ruins. To it seem you finished off the last of them. Uh, trying uh, times yet lie ahead of the people of Thavnir. Fortunately, they have a wise and benevolent satrap to shepherd them through. <clears throat> Speaking of which, I received word from Thancred not a short while ago. He waits our return to the city of Azrael's Path. Alzradal's Path? Yeah, I think that's the right word. That's... that's crazy. To reduce congestion, they are okay. okay. Apparently, there's a lot of people here. Good to see you safe, given the skies. Tis all, all too easy to fear the worst. I am pleased to report that we've uh, succeeded in quelling the threat here in the city. The beasts have all been felled, and the cities are safe for now. I've also heard from the Radiant that an important proclamation will be made in the city square, though we have no more than that. Might you have an idea what it's about? Well, the secret has been revealed, thank you. So Vitra is finally coming out from behind the curtain. I suppose we too should uh, hear what he had to say to Magudu then. But before that, it would appear that the word of the assembly has not yet reached all of the citizens. If anyone along the way seems unaware, we'd best enlighten them. Oh, nope. or <laughs> okay are all the beasts all gone I've been hiding and I'm too scared to go out and look technically you're already outside I mean oh that's really if I thought those beasts were going to eat me I wonder where Vash Shan is he's the lowest uh, runner slowest runner I hope he got away hmm he could be with the other people from the palace maybe I'll see him in the square well, he's gonna be in for a surprise. My friend is a dragon! Yeah! Leave me be, please. I swear to you, my flesh tastes absolutely terrible. What? The square, you say? But that's where the satrap was killed with my very eyes. I saw him crushed in that creature's maw. 
so many lives lost, each terrible carnage, and you say there's someone else who would lead Harris up, uh, Rad Etzhan in his stead? Whoever they are, if they say anything to sully the memory of our beloved Satrap, I'll make them regret it, says the spooked youth. I got it. Rahatia with the big dick energy, what's up? I hear you were able to bring the situation at Palak's stand under control. Every life lost is a tragedy, but you should uh, take pride in doing what you could. But I also command, what I assumed command uh, during the earlier panic, I did so instinctively out of necessity. It was not my place to give orders, but I am glad that people heeded them. But now they have a uh, need of a true leader, a magnanimous and just satrap who could guide them every step of the way. Fortunately, they are blessed with uh, such a soul. If anyone could protect the guide in them through this calamity, it is he. It would seem the people still have lingering doubts and I cannot blame them. Yet we know what strength has afforded us uh, with the ones whose first brood on our side. I have faith that the citizens re will come to understand and accept him in time. Where is she? Yeah, there she is. Welcome back, Matthias. Elfino told me everything. I was pleased to hear that the feature was uh, chosen to reveal himself at last. The people at Reditan need a strong and wise satrap more than ever. Well, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I love this. This little... Melody. Look, someone's coming. No pointing. Haven't your parents taught you anything? Oh, she's gonna he's gonna use the boy. Look, it's your friend. People of Razathan, it warms my heart to see so many brave, resilient souls before me. Today, I would share with you a great revelation. But before I do, I must make a humble request. Do not be alarmed, nor avert your eyes. See the one I unveil for who he is and know that he means you no harm. What if he comes in and eats Vershan and be like, I am that boy, and he's not real. Very well. I dare say it can't be worse than the horrors we've already seen. Did he just make a joke? It is... Many thanks. It is too early. Oh, he's gonna be dramatic about it. A dragon! Wow! <laughs> I told you, kids love dragons. You can't really scare children with dragons. People of Radzathan, I am Vritra. And for years uncounted hath this isle served as mine abode. Tis as the Satrap's ally I am known. Today, I would reveal the truth unto you. Let us hope they accept him. If it was me, and I lived here, I'd be like, oh, thank God, we got a dragon, bruh. 
<laughs> we really got a dragon upgrades, bro. <laughs> but I missed that guy. I can't believe he died. If I am hearing this right, you are the satrap all along? Vashon! I mean... Master Vitra... The, the, does your divine eye really see all? Nay, child. While my eye hath borne witness to the whole of our nation's history, to its future I am blind as thee. the likes of which we have never known is come to Favner, our home. Friends and loved ones have been taken from us. I, too, have lost my closest confidant. Ahawan loved this land and served it with dignity till his dying breath. A nobler satrap there will never be. For so long, I lacked the courage to face you. I will not easily earn your trust. This I know. And yet, I cannot sit idly by and abandon rugs that harm to her fate. A font of boundless vibrancy, this jewel of the ocean. Since time immemorial, have she glittered with every color imaginable. To this dragon, slumbering in his dark lair, t'was a mesmerizing sight, and one that brought no end of joy to my heart. I think the flower is going to react here soon. This calamity has stolen too much from you already. Yet so long as you live, the light of Ratzatan will never be extinguished. I pray you let me watch over it. Over you. And lend me your strength that we might face this trial and those to come as one. I do not know you, Dragon, but I thank you for speaking the truth to us. As divinities, both Manusha and Riga once joined together, so too do I believe that hand in hand, we can overcome this ordeal and welcome an era of peace. One clapper. One clapper. A sight that would have surely brought a smile to his ale's face. Indeed. Oh, Shiva. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Dad? Excuse me, but I must speak with the Sartrap at once. <laughs> they got in here, it's the final day. <laughs> He's like, yo, the Sartrap, can't you see I'm busy? You have suffered dearly of late. Yet you must endeavor to look beyond these losses to the future you yet have. On behalf of the Forum of Charlian, I come with a proposal by which you, the people of Radzat Han, might be saved. I say again, I must speak with your satrap. I beseech you, take me to him with all possible haste. Everybody's pointing at the dragon and shit. I am Satrap here. Speak thy proposal. All present shall hear and judge. Say something stupid. Say something stupid. If I have given offense, then I apologize. 
<laughs> First, <laughs> allow me to share with you what knowledge we have of the phenomenon responsible for your woes. The final days. Tis an affliction of stagnancy and rot, sown into the currents of the star. Though the first prominent manifestation was here, in Thavner, it will invariably spread to every corner of the world. The Forum was forewarned of this apocalypse several centuries ago. Thenceforth, my predecessors sought to prepare for the end times in the only conceivable fashion, by securing a means of escape. I think I think they're gonna let it pass, but you don't wanna come up to people who are who are experiencing the final days who have lost so many loved ones and just say we knew this shit was gonna happen. You see what I'm saying? You, you <laughs> Imagine it. You're sitting at home and then someone something just destroys your home and and kills off half your family just just imagine it i know it sounds horrible just just imagine it and then the powers that be you, you're you're saved you got you got what little little life you have left or or you you have your son or whatever i don't know you're you're still alive and then somebody comes in and says we knew this was going to happen around this hour 270 years ago <laughs> And you're probably thinking in your head, like... You knew? Do you see what I'm saying? Let's, let's just continue. Escape the star? What madness is this? Okay. Yeah, they'll say that. They'll definitely say that. It is by no means madness. With the coming of the seventh umbral calamity, the true nature of the Red Moon Dalamud was revealed. That it was an artificial Red construct Moon, of ancient Alag. But what of the Silver Moon? Yep, here we go. This celestial satellite is yet another technological marvel fashioned and maintained by ancient allies. Yep. A ship that will sail the heavens and deliver our people from destruction. Silver Moon and Red Moon. And by Moon. our people, I speak not only of Charlian. We mean to save every man, woman, oh. and child it is within our power to save. I thought they were just going to save themselves. Interesting. Including you, our dear friends of Radzat Han. Recent events necessitate adjustments be made, and quickly, but we can and will escort you safely to the moon. You you do this at the last. You're, you're turning in your homework real late. You're turning in your homework. Long has thy forum been allies to Thavnir. I trust thou dost not extend this offer lightly. Yet I wonder, is this truly the way? Is there a future to be built for us beyond this star? Our father deemed the last bastion of hope. I've been wondering that too. It is for that very reason I come before you and your people. To answer any and all of your questions. To offer my assurances and allay your fears. Though, if you wish the best for your people, I advise you to render your decision swiftly. Show our friends to Megaduta. They are to be received as honored guests. Worry not. Whatever decision is reached, your paths shall be yours to decide. Until then, heed the warning of these brave heroes. Guard your heart 
us against fear and despair, for it is within such fertile soil that the seeds of blasphemy find purchase. Remain calm and attend to your daily tasks. I shall return anon. you say, Master Vitra? We believe in you. Aww. Vitra just blushed. I saw that shit. I saw that shit. It was on 4K. Oh, she's gonna tackle someone. Oh, you're still here. What a relief. She looked like she was about to tackle someone. Nidana, what's the matter? Has something happened at Palika's stand? Oh, no, not that I know of. I just hope to hear your thoughts on a theory of mine. Huh? All who undergo the transformation are drained of their ether, yes? Yeah. What is it then that gives these beasts the strength to carry on as they do? Yeah, what's... What's their power? What's... Logically... They must be drawing upon an alternate form of vital energy. That put me in mind of our earlier conversation, when I tried to explain the essence which many confuse with Ether. Yeah. Akasha. Akasha. Yes, I remember. The unseen gift bestowed from on high. An energy influenced solely by emotion. Akasha. Yes. yes. In this instance, negative ones set Akasha into motion, thereby infusing the beasts with vitality. I posit this as the mechanism by which the beasts are born and sustained. Ah, do you still have that flower? Yes, I do. Oh, oh, that's that. Oh. If we accept that it once shone bright by drawing upon Akasha, influenced by the thoughts of those nearby, then fear, terror, despair, negative emotions so powerful as to suffocate it, permeated the air in this place. Yeah. You must be very careful. The forces which drive the final days may be beyond our ability to perceive. Maybe it would be a good idea for people to go to the moon. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you like that. At any rate, I will continue my research into Akasha. Do temper your expectations, however. There are sadly few detailed studies upon which I may draw. Formulating a new theory as you have is itself no small feat. I wish you well in your endeavors. And pray you take care. Akasha. Thank you. You stay safe as well, yes? Till next we meet. And we will meet again. Akasha, the red moon, negative energy, silver, aether. Positive emotions. Elements. It's, ooh, man, there's. This is. This is just. You might as well just make this a Star Wars thing. As far as we have come, uh, and after all the horrors we have uh, seen, there's still so much we not do not know of the final days. Could it be that Nidhana said that the cause of this phenomenon is beyond our comprehension? Uh, and if so, uh, are we powerless to forestall it? I feel like we're getting closer and closer to what actually caused the final days of Amarat, or even here. But I feel like there's just more. Greetings, honored signs of the seventh dawn. I have a message from His Excellency uh, the Satrap. Okay. 
Brave science, you uh, have my gratitude in aiding my people in this most trying of times. Alas, matters at the Mega Duda uh, prevent me from meeting you all in person. As a token of my appreciation, I have agreed for a feast to be held in your honor. May it nourish you in uh, preparation for the trials ahead. Such are the words of Master Vitra. The feast he uh, speaks of awaits you at Mirda Mian. Uh, pray, make your way there whenever your biz uh, business uh, here is done. We thank you for your kindness indeed. I was hoping we might find a place to discuss our next course of action. And that seems an ideal venue. And to you, Matthias Rage, there is someone we would hope, hope to introduce uh, to you in particular. While I am loath to detain you further, might you spare a moment uh, for your time? A personal invitation? Knowing full well your services are in the highest demand right now? This must be an important worry, not. Uh, we'll save uh, some food for you, so take all the time you need. I don't know, Gratia has got the stomach for it. And what in the world is that over there? You see what. Is it Prince Chocobo? Thank you, friend. Whenever you are ready, please join me in the Aetherite Plaza. I shall go on ahead. See, I like, I like, I can't take the cutscene seriously if I look like that. Just saying. I just cannot take the cutscene seriously if I look like a frog, a chicken, a chocobo, and I'm like, peace. Some people just like that shit. Some people are just like into that. It's like, I will forever be Chocobo Man. And I'm like, well, that's, that's, that's you, man. This is your story. Make it your own. <laughs> I probably can use the Aetherite Crystal now. Access to the Aetherite you see there has been restricted to a select few ever since the tower has appeared. You sincerely apologize for the inconvenience, but it was deemed too dangerous to permit- Yeah, we already know about that. In light of recent events, however, the Satrap has decided that such restrictions would only hinder our efforts to com combat the final days. As such, I would encourage you to attune with the Aetherite before proceeding along with the corridor. Okay, now, now we can do it. Now I can do the work. Mission complete. Look kind of cute. Look at this. Really, really nice. I'm making this my hometown. When I get my house in Ishgard, I'm designing it up and down. Fully on a uh, on Razat Han stuff. It's full Razat Han all the way. Uh, you must be wondering what this place is. You stand in the Hall of Radia Hosa from where our leadership oversize sees all of the Radizat Han's uh, military operations. Sundrop, our destination, lies just ahead. Sundrop. Welcome to the Sundrop. Without further ado, allow me to introduce you to... Who the fuck is that? Oh ho, so you're the famous uh, Matthias uh, Rage, eh? I knew if the moment you stepped through the door, you were the look of one who's uh, walked through hell. I want it. I, I need all this. Do I need all that? I need, need all this. Shirabot, please, you are speaking to the such of honored guest and savior, savior of our people. Can you not show a modicum of respect? No, she's showing me respect right now. Look at her. 
What, what disrespect is there in paying a fellow, a warrior, a compliment? We're all friends here, or we'll uh, be soon enough. Oh yeah, we're gonna be friends, all right. More uh, important, uh, more formally uh, than for the benefit of my countrymen, it is a pleasure to have you with us. Oh, great champion of Eorzea, scion of the Seventh Dawn, warrior of light, an all-round good egg, I'm sure. Hmm. What is the... This talk of eggs reminds me I'm late for dinner. <laughs> oh, and after my own heart, I like that. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we're having a moment. Don't you worry, I'll keep it short. There's just a thing or, or two uh, we'd like you to remember. First of all, about the room you're standing in now. President Hound welcomes uh, delegates from uh, other lands to oversee trade and diplomatic dealings. Then uh, there are military matters to discuss, which is why all these uh, officers are stationed here in Sundrop. I imagine you're more than familiar with each of the nations than uh, they represent, yes? Ah, Doma. Old Don and Alamigo. Yo, who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? I like girls with short hair or like boyish haircuts. I'm I'm all about it. Oh yes, 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 yes. Limza Lominza, Sherabot, yo fellow fellow Rogadin. And Gridania. Um some guy with wooden arms. I am Groot. And last but never uh, it be, be the said least, Ishgar. They're the eyes, ears, and mouths that bridge the distance between Razet Han and their respective homes. I swear if you bow like... Fine. He did it. And we've used this priest for us by... Oh, this is the role quest we're talking about, bruh. So our plight with our overseas counterparts. And wouldn't you know it, all of their leaders requested a few words from your sp uh, you specifically. You're a woman in high demand, eh? And so, would you mind regaling us of your own account? Indulge us before you indulge yourself. Oh, snap. I thank you for the report. The conditions under which men I turn to beasts, the etheric anomalies you have observed, you have given us much to consider. It is uh, concerning that uh, the, the first uh, transforms apparently occurred uh, before the uh, skies turned red. It is contrary to what uh, one would expect. Thankfully, the uh, information you conveyed uh, to Lucina upon your return from the moon has already proved invaluable. As soon as the reports of the calamity here in Thavnir reach the Gridania, uh, the Grand Company of Eorzea, and our Far Eastern allies, our leaders knew at once the final days were indeed upon us. They began taking steps to assess the extent of the phenomenon spread. Our agents were able to confirm that, and for the uh, time being, the skies burn only over, uh, over the bounty, including this island and Corvos. Corvos. Alas, that is a, a, of little comfort. Hi, all throughout allies' uh, lands, there have uh, been reports of people transforming into hideous beasts. From what little we have learned, these incidents are similar in, na in nature to that involving the merchant uh, Calzone. As was the case uh, here, the victims underwent the change prior to the heavens uh, being set ablaze. And so, while the burning skies have yet to manifest beyond the bounty, uh, the transformations do not appear to be subject to any similar uh, restriction. If anyone uh, anywhere overcome uh, by despair can turn, then nowhere is safe. And it's about uh, the size of it. Speaking of which, we ought to give these creatures a name, don't you think? Here in Rajapan, we've taken a calling the first uh, change, which tend to be the biggest blasphemies. We call them blasphemies, as a fitting name as any. To ensure clarity in future c communities, we shall urge our comrades to adopt this terminology. 
Our leaders have taken measure uh, to deal with the threat to our best of our abilities. Who is this fucking cutie? Hold on. I, each nation has assembled their own groups of elite soldiers to put down these so-called blasphemies in their spawn as when they appear. At the, time, uh, at the same time, they are doing all that their power to put the people's minds at ease and prevent panic and fear from uh, spreading. It's said brave souls with the strength and fortitude to fell uh, these terrible fiends are not easily found. Just so, it is uh, for that very reason that we turn to you. Pray lend us your strength and help us to slay blasphemies that plague our homelands. Ooh, nice. Nice. Now, now, you don't have to give your reply uh, before dinner. I should also mention that each blasphemy seems to possess wildly different characteristics. What works so well against one may serve you poorly against another. So before you go rushing off to save everyone, everyone's day, have a word with delegates. Uh, they'll tell you what to expect. Yes, queen. And with that, I do believe our friendship here has a feast to attend to. Spare uh, the thought of us uh, while we're tucking uh, into all that fine cuisine, eh? You have gained access to the role quest of N. Walker. Uh, a separate quest line uh, and story is uh, now available for tank, melee DPS, physical DPS, magical range DPS, and healer rooms. If you're going to take the quest, speak with... Yep, gotcha. Hype. So I can only talk to Gridania at the moment. Pray forgive uh, Cheryl about uh, her rudeness. Uh, she can be a bit boisterous at times, but it is simply her nature. I love it. Anyway, my apologies for keeping you from your uh, hard-earned rest. You will be rejoining your companions, yes? Do you know uh, the way to uh, the main hanny? I know, like, uh, rod's on, like, the back of my hand. It's a nice blade. Okay, I think we're done here. Let's talk to her again. Thanks for uh, taking the time to stop by. You're free to talk with our delegates more if the mood strikes you, or head off to the banquet if you had your fill of words for the day. Riddling uh, the lands of blasphemies is an important task, to be sure, but one uh, that best uh, done on full belly and a good night's rest. If you ask me, do take care of yourself, you hear? Oh, she's worried about me. Oh my god, oh yeah, she's got a nice blade. I was talking about her ass. Okay. Um... First of all, you need to be level 85 and the class that's that's towards that. Okay, gotcha. Understood. The Gridanian delegate is urgent need of a stout defender to help combat a new threat to his homeland. I have come to on behalf of the Twin Adders to enlist the aid of an accomplished fighter, the small talk cower in their homes uh, for fear of an unprecedented threat to the Twelvesman, a blasphemy. It strikes quickly with uh, with deadly precision before returning to the shadows once it came. Try as uh, we might, we have yet to devise a mean to track it, much less slay it. Several brave souls eat, uh, search for it uh, every now, but uh, their chances would improve greatly if they would have a stout protector by their side. Judging by your reputation, I dare say you're precisely the woman we seek. What say you? Protecting the realm is what I do. I will take that as an enthusiastic yes. Make haste to the adder's nest. If I want to change the color of my artifact gear, I need to finish this up. And I don't need to do all of them. I just need to do one on the roll and then bada bing bada boom. Should be good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oh, duh. Can't have mounts here. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. Just say it. You're, you just speak the truth. Just say it. Just say it. Pussy. Blasphemy hunt man master. That's sure. Our liaison at Reddit's hand sent word uh, to, of your arrival, but I can uh, still scarcely believe our luck. Are you truly here to help us bring this uh, wicked, bla ri wicked blasphemy to heal? Yes. Then there is hope for us yet. I shall fetch the Eld Seeker at once. This is the leading the hunt, and I'm certain uh, she'll be most eager to see you. Nice. Nice. Oh. Uh... She needs less clothing. I, I stop, stop, man. Full glad am I uh, uh, welcome to uh, welcome you in good health and good spirits. Matthias, on behalf of Gridania, allow me to thank you for ri rising to our defense yet again. This is actually the first time I've seen her outside of her little nest that she was in. You'll forgive uh, me uh, for uh, eschew eschewing a. Uh, further formalities as time is of the essence i shall share with you what a little we know of this elusive scourge following the events in thabnir we received a report that an unidentified man had fallen into fits on the road before transforming into a beast most foul a blasphemy we soon determined eyewitnesses uh, to subsequent uh, attacks spoke of patterns on its skin reminiscent of heavy chains and thus we have named it uh, Glefnir uh, for the creature of legend it emerges from the brush uh, brush uh, without warning bringing destruction and tragedy to those unfortunate enough to be near ere we can uh, re respond to threats uh, re I mean retreats into hiding leaving no trace for us to follow the elements cry out for us to rid this forest of this wicked presence yet even if we uh, traced it to its lair I fear uh, besting the beast would be no simple task the wounds of the uh, of the gulf near the victims are tainted by corruption we can but conclude that the fiend's fangs claws and horns are all imbued with powerful poison. The smallest scratches sends the afflicted into fits and death uh, soon follows. Mayhap you know of the creeping death. The effects of Gelfnir's uh, vile poison bear more than a passing similarity to the symptoms of that uh, deadly plague. It swept through the Twelveswood many years ago. The sick found their- wait, was this a calamity? Is their skin covered in chain like patterns and spent their final moments in excruciating pain. Wait, it was like a tattoo, like chain pattern? Yo. Yo, tattoo when? It was long before I came to Gridania, but people uh, still speak of it like dr with dread. Is it true that the disease spared no, not a single hewer? Nearly, yes, but before the remainder uh, were taken, uh, we were able to devise a cure for the uh, Glimshroom. Slow though it was, the, the scars of this tragedy could then begin to heal. Glufnir is, uh, uh, threatens to reopen old wounds. I fear yet, despite the similarities between the blasphemy's corruption and the creeping death marks, it is unclear how uh, these two phenomena are related, if at all. Both Conjury and White Magic have failed to abate the poison spread. To confront Glaifnir's uh, now would uh, place our soldiers at risk of grievous injury. Forgive me, Elder Seasir, but this appears to be urgent. What? Again? Glefnir has struck once more in the Norse Shroud. The whalers came too uh, late to see the beast uh, themselves, but the man it attacked yet lives. They are bringing him to the full, uh, the full gro uh, float as we speak. Then we must meet them uh, there. Will you accompany us, Matthias? Ithamar uh, should be able to apprise uh, us of the details upon our arrival. All right, let's go. 
Let's do this. Let's get to work. Mmm. Nope, not that. I got so many missions. <laughs> oh my gosh. Focus on one. Just focus on one. This is the one, right? Mm, no, this is not the one. This is the one. Okay, so it looks like this. Gotcha. Understood. Some people have already finished the MSQ, and I'm happy for them, but me? I'll take my Elder seats here, you honor us with your presence. I cannot thank you enough for coming all this way. Given the dire circumstances, I would not leave this uh, to another. Where is the wounded man? Uh, outside the Bobby Cork uh, being attended by uh, uh, to by one of our uh, hearers. He's a capable healer, but I worry this is beyond his abilities. I shall do all in my power to aid him. In turn, may have need of assistance as well. I ask that you stay close, both of you. Okay. Mm. In here? What the fuck? Is it like... He clings to life, albeit barely. We must uh, not, uh, we must try to ease his pain. He's a hearty soul, but I'm uh, utterly at, lo at a loss. While I manage to heal his wounds, the pr uh, poison lingers. I fear the worst is yet to come. When I removed his clothes uh, for uh, treatment, I recognized the, the chains. If this is indeed the creeping death, do not lose heart. I shall spare no effort. Rest for now. Y we uh, may have need of your talents again ere long. She goes, man. She goes. <laughs> A bloody swarm of them. They came from the east gate. Chigoes are known as carriers of the creeping death. The villagers are on edge. If they think the Vilken harbingers, harbingers of another plague, they may panic. Pray see the Chigoes. I shall remain here uh, and see to the victim. Chigoes. Why does it sound edible, whatever this Chigoes is? Watch out for the Chigoes! Mm. The panicky man. They were near Alder Springs, a whole swarm of them, like an army uh, getting ready to, for war, bringing the creepy, creeping death like, uh, like as not. Uh, folk, are, folk have been uh, dropping dead with no rhyme for reason, and I'm not about to join them. No, sir. Come running back as uh, fast as my legs could carry me. Were you bitten? I will show you to the hearer if so. Not a single hole that uh, doesn't belong. You can be sure. You'd best uh, do something about uh, that swarm, though. Would that uh, we could, but keeping the gate manned is our priority, and we have not the numbers to spare for hunting party. By the time Whaler and reinforcements arrive, it may be too late. We'll, uh, we'll deal with the Chigoes, the one who uh, calls the greater number owes the other a flagon of ale, eh? 
I commend uh, your bravery, Godspeed, and don't get bitten. And don't get bitten. We don't want any getting anybody getting bitten around here. Mm-hmm. 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 Those are Chigoes. Yeah, no. Yeah. That's it. Well, that was easy. Oop, easy. Oop, easy. Also easy. Don't be praised, and you, you've become bearing a cure for the creepy death, but it's of little use against actual death. Well, oh, that's very, very true. Alright, that's why I've come. I've heard tell of a man suffering from uncommon pains at Flag Flit Float, um, Flag Gourd Float, sensed an, uh, an opportunity for a philanthropy and a touch of profit, I'll admit. But if uh, what you say is true, her, his condition demands a much swifter pair of feet than mine. Could you bring the medicine to him in my stead? No need for payment this time, of course. You say in my life, and one good turn des deserves another. I only hope the cure works as well as uh, uh, purported. Uh, as for me, I'll be on my way. And give any of Velkin, uh, I spy, a wide berth. Giant mosquitoes. Yeah, no thank you. That's a nice ask axe. I said ass. Wow. Well, uh, I mean that too. But, yeah, I, I wish it was blue. I have an aesthetic. I can't help it. It looks like a nice ad. axe. Axe, axe, axe. But if it was like a blue axe, it would be kick-ass. I could do silver. Thank you for calling the Chigoes. Alas, our uh, patient's condition has yet to improve, and it is all we can uh, do to keep uh, him from succumbing to the poison. I have a vial of creeping death a remedy. Make sure you don't use all of it. Could use it to make uh, a vaccine. I know this medicine. It was once used to treat the creeping death. Given his symptoms, it may well uh, prove effective here as well. It works upon the body quite uh, quickly, as I recall. I, I, hold, hold on, just a little uh, while longer, my friend. The medicine will soon relieve your pain. It don't, it hurts, it hurts. Why, why, why am I still a virgin? The man shrieked to die in his throat, and his body is ricked by violent convulsions. He then falls still and quiet, as if his breath was snatched from his chest. It did not work. Both have mercy. At the very least, his suffering is over. He have been quicker to deliver the medicine, would he have uh, lived? Nay, I think not. He was doomed from the moment that poison entered his blood, as will uh, be others if we do not soon gain an understanding of our foe. Is it possible that in order for us to prevent any poison, you know, people who have been poisoned, uh, if we kill this blasphemer, blasphemer, that It'll, you know, get rid of, it'll be the remedy for everybody who's been afflicted. Let this tragedy not be in vain, but serve as a lesson. Though the effect of the Glyphner's corruption resembles the creeping death, it is clear that the two share little else in common. 
The poison burns through uh, the body more quickly than any disease. Too deadly is it uh, to be born uh, by creatures so fragile as Chigoes or any other besides. Then this is one less possibility the people need fear. Tis a shame a life was a loss, but this knowledge may help us ensure that others are not. Spread word, but do not uh, think uh, delicately, uh, uh, delicacy. In these troubled times, fear and despair can drive even the good, uh, good lot, goodlets of souls to desperate ends. Glyphnir is the only blasphemy uh, known to us in Gridania for now. We must do our utmost to stop him from sowing further discord. Understood, Elder Seedseer. Damn, that nose is huge, bro. Damn, you got a big nose, bro. Dang, he had his hat over his head and I didn't see shit. You should put that hat right here, all the way down here. I'll give this man a proper burial before sharing uh, uh, what we've discovered. Asserting uh, Glefnir's uh, whereabouts is still a primary concern. Let us return to the Adder's uh, nest, for information shall be our most reliable weapon in the days ahead, and there is no better place to acquire it. Return to the Adder's nest. Okay. Gliffnir has been sighted in various locales, and though we are uh, reviewing every report, we suspect most of uh, our erroneous uh, fear has uh, a way of making one jump to at shadows. It will take some time before we have determined which reports merit a more involved investigation. Until then, I ask that you stay vigilant and keep your eyes peeled for any sign of blasphemy. Mm -mm. We have followed up on every report concerning Glyphnir, e even those that uh, um, beggared uh, belief. The most promising suggests the blasphemy is currently stalking the uh, the uh, uh, south uh, south shroud. We are uh, to proceed there at once, and there is no telling what when it might strike again. The Elder Seed Seer is already en route to uh, Root Slate. Let us uh, not keep her waiting. Okay, done. Done and done. And that's the paladin armor that I'm gonna have very soon. Wait a minute. Wait, he's got only part of it on. What the hell? What the fuck? Confused on that part. It looks ridiculous. Sorry, it looks ridiculous. Tell Shroud? Uh, we'll do Camp Tranquil. That's fine. Greetings with us. As luck would have it, uh, my sister uh, Raya's O uh, frequent, uh, frequents Camp uh, Tranquil. We would uh, do well to meet uh, with her first, for she may have knowledge of uh, this threat that can aid us in our search. 
All right. <laughs> oh, bring on the lowlies. It's been too long, Raya O. Kana A, I was afraid this situation might force your arrival. Would that this reunion was under more joyous circumstances. Are you here to serve as a protector to my sister? Yes, I commend your courage. Glyphnir, uh, like all blasphemies, is a fearsome foe that we must nevertheless rise to meet as, as one. Do you all have horns or what? Oh, yeah, they do. They do all have horns. Oh, man, I, I didn't I know. Every moment is crucial, so let us uh, dispense uh, with further pleasantries. Have uh, your, you received word of Glyphnir's whereabouts? I have. It recently ambushed a poor traveler who succumbed to his wounds soon after. thereafter. A tragic and increasingly common tale. No others in Camp Tranquil have come to, uh, to harm, but some claim they feel a presence in the distant trees, staring at them with a malicious intensity. Uh, they struggle to uh, find that courage to venture beyond the safety of the camp. While its victims exhibit symptoms reminiscent of the creeping death, Glyphner's corruption seems only to affect those who have been assaulted by the blasphemy itself. We have yet to confirm a single instance of its uh, uh, of it spreading from one individual to, individual to another. That's somewhat reassuring, but it will provide little comfort to the people here, I think. If Glyphner comes, any defense uh, we amount will come at a great loss. Those who fall wounded will invariably uh, die. I'm at a loss, uh, and the people under my care can see it. They grow tense and bicker amongst themselves. Some even accuse me of standing idly by while this monster roams free, as if I'm not doing all that I can. Well, you're hanging out with two muggles, so when people see you're hanging out with two muggles, they think you're just playing around. I see muggles, and I'm just like, oh, well, what are we doing, mini games? What are we doing? What are we going to the gold saucer? What the fuck? I apologize. Would that I come uh, to you sooner. Okay, y'all, that's cool. Sorry, sorry. Let's get to work. Uh, not every burden is yours to bear, Kane. She is right. It is uh, our, the duty of the sealed seats here to face this threat, and so we should do so t uh, together, with the aid of the elements as well. Under different circumstances, I would agree, but their strength had waned since the calamity, and I am reluctant to impose upon them. Indeed, when I opened my thoughts uh, to the elements, I shuddered to hear their uh, uh, distress. Once we have laid a low with uh, the blasphemy, the elements will be at peace. Well then, how do we propose we go about that? First, allow me to uh, speak uh, with the people here and assure them that uh, all will be well. The Gridanians resolve to weather this storm uh, remains steadfast. No road is closed to those true at heart. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that you'd begin with an earnest and heartfelt uh, appeal. For my part, I shall reach out to uh, Aru. Perhaps uh, together we can uh, find a way to offer a similar comfort to the elements, elementals. I have no doubt we will require their uh, assistance in the days ahead. Thank you, sister. May the twelve watch over and keep you both. Well, it got bright all of a sudden. Must be daytime. May I trouble you to accompany me? The presence of the storied uh, hero would surely lend uh, credence uh, to my claims that the people's difficulties will soon be at an end. While you attend to that, I shall gather what information I can from the wood whalers stationed here. Pray look for me at the camp proper when you have finished. Man, they thought of everything with this whole roll quest thing. What sword is that? It's a nice ass sword. Mithril? 
If we are to convince uh, the people that they need to not live in fear of Glyphnir, the my words uh, alone may be insufficient. I do not uh, uh, comport uh, myself as an imposing uh, figure, blessed with material prowess, uh, to say the least. You, on the other hand, are renowned as this peerless uh, warrior, perilous warrior, who has triumphed in countless trials. Simply looking on your your features fills me with confidence that this crisis too shall pass. Man, put that on my shoulders, why don't you? I pray you stay by my side, that the those we speak will, might be joyed by your uh, presence. Oh, she's joining me now. Wait, 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 this person right here. Oh, I have that jacket. It's just in a different color. Is it? Yeah, it's just in a different color. It's it's weird. Why is it white? So, when I do my color, it does... Wait, what? It's an imperial coat offending. No, no, it's... No. It's a scallop coat of... Uh, it's a scallop coat. Yeah. So the colors are different. Okay. All right. Follow me. I, I have this small child following me now. All right. Let's do this. Hmm. Distraught woman. A single scratch is uh, enough to spell one's doom. They say nothing but to wait uh, on death to come. How can we face a beast like that? Do not give in to despair, my friend. Know that I shall do all of this in my power. Hold fast uh, to hope. I'll try, Elder Seats here. I'll try. I know you've placed yourself at risk, leaving the safety of the city and coming here. Thank you. I promise you that I will not be long. Okay. I saw it. A gargantuan beast stalking the woods with horns the size of my leg. Uh, what's to stop it from coming here uh, to fill its belly? Cliffner will uh, do no such thing, I swear. I shall see uh, to it personally that the blasphemy does not come with a mom of this village. Keep heart for brighter days lie ahead. Elder Seasier. Ah, perhaps uh, uh, I've let my imagination get the better of me. You are a beacon of these dark times. I pray you restore the peace soon. I shall. You can be certain. People are so quick to push the worries and the blame onto someone else. I swear to you. They're just like, oh shit, it's the person in charge. Ugh. We're good. Ugh. Ugh, I don't... Sit back and relax. And I'm like, are you serious, bro? It's like, putting all the weight on her and you're like, oh man, oh, this, this is easy. Seats here are sitting pretty with the guards in finery. Here we go. What do they care if a BC is running amok? They'll be fine. That's why they're doing nothing while it hunts us. We'd be fools to trust our lives to those that don't care a whit. All right, past time we went south. Lest in, at least in Ilda, they don't pretend to look out for the common man, but there's probably a blasphemer over there. And they're like, oh shit. I'll just see it's here. I just... Uh, 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 uh. I promise you that we're sparing no effort in our hunt to, for Glyphnir. However, it will take time and more may suffer before the beast is laid low. Nevertheless, I ask that you place your faith in me, if only for a while longer. I love the Twelve's Wood and her people with all my heart, and I will not let our enemy torment us forever. I understand. Man's gotta give voice to his worries from time to time, eh? Nothing I want less than an abandoned my home. I'll stick around for now. have this little girl following me around well she's not little she's she's probably uh, she's old enough I mean I mean you she's cute 
And she's showing leg? That's what I'm fucking talking about. That's what I'm fucking talking about. She rides a pig? Yeah, I'm into that. I'm into that. Some sexy uh, cat girl with a side of bacon. Uh, 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 why do I talk? What will be that for now, Elder Seats here? It will. I have done what I can to quell the uh, unrest, but I, so long as Skelter lives, there will never be a, this place. Hmm. Do you doubt your chosen course? Nay, not in the slightest. The shortest path to the destination is often not the best, and today was a welcome reminder of that truth. Mayhap I should visit these uh, sentiments more often. Doubtless some here thank me as a distant as the elementals, so rarely do they see me in the outer reaches. Yeah, rarely. You have served me admirably as protectors thus far, for which I am grateful. Yet, until we have found and laid Glyphlinger low, I must continue to impose upon your goodwill. Tis no, uh, Im, uh, Imp... Imposition, Elder CCR. You saved me on the killing fields of Cartano. My life is yours, now and always. Your life is your own at the command, but I thank you for your words and your conviction, which fills me with confidence that the path uh, we walk is true. Even if that path takes us uh, far afield. Hmm, did I ever tell you that when I was a young student, I would often steal into the woods uh, with a uh, dear friend of mine, much to the ch uh, ch uh, chagrin of our teacher? Deep down, I suspect there is still a part of me that yearns to wander uh, where I should not. Oh, well, I didn't see that. Yes. She's just fucking around. <laughs> Elder CCO, word from the border. We've got ourselves a right bloody mess by the sound of it. What has happened? Per your earlier instructions, the whalers closed the roads to all travel while we uh, scurred, sc uh, scoured the wood for signs of Glefner, but now a group of locals are demanding to be let uh, through into th uh, Thanalin. They are terrified by the sound of it, screaming about the creeping death and gods know what else. Despair gr uh, grips their hearts. If it consumes them wholly, then we all may have yet uh, more blasphemies to contend with. I will speak with them. Wild uh, rumors fuel their panic, and with the truth of compassion will I convince uh, them to see reason and uh, return their home to their homes. If anyone can, see, uh, can uh, it's you. Uh, if anyone can, it's you. Elder Seed's here. We're going uh, our best to keep uh, to calm for now, but our men's uh, words uh, painted a grim face uh, picture. I pray you make uh, your way to the border as quickly as you can. Ugh, okay. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. What the fuck? I didn't have levees here? What the fuck? How did I not have levees here? I'll do that later. Ah, that's because I was mostly an old dog, that's why. She got the Alamegan coat on, damn. Let us through, damn you. We're standing here while the creeping death nips at our heels. You're telling us to die. 
Those rumors are false. The elder seatseer herself sent word that the creeping death is not responsible for the recent incidents. You mustn't surrender to panic. Return to your homes while we deal with the threat and pay no heed to baseless stories. Stories? Stories? I've seen the dead with my own eyes. Don't tell me what it uh, what isn't true. Hearken to me, my dear friends. I come before you now to assure you that the creeping death is not uh, has not returned. Only those uh, who have been wounded by Glefnir is in danger, and I so and so I beseech you to take shelter in your homes until the threat has passed. Glyphnir, the beast I saw in the wood? It's like we have to run. It could have followed us. You saw him? Where? Not far from here, those glistening horns, those terrible chains, reaching out and dr drag you down uh, to the seventh hell. We ran and ran, never uh, looked back. But don't worry, it didn't catch any of us. No one marked me. That means, that means we're safe, right? Uh, let's say we weren't quite as fast enough. What then? Sus. Its horns and claws are where the poison resides, and uh, even a scratch would be cause for concern. Oh, son. <laughs> even a little scratch. Then is it too late for me? Is that body my my body feels like it's on fire? You told me the branches tripped you up. You stayed uh stay uh, that's how it happened. You said Oh heavenly winds. Heavenly winds, guide us uh, to the fond of its strength. May you drink the supple of blah 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 blah. I don't, I don't feel any better. Do it again, do it again! Oh, he's trying to get off on this. Oh, he's ERPing right now. It hurts, help me. Conjury has no effect. There can be no mistake. This is Glyphnir's doing. Even so, I ask that you do not lose heart. Stay strong, for if we surrender to fear, the beast has already won. No, I don't want to die. Please help me. Get back. You said, you said it wasn't, uh, why, why? Liars, liars, all of you, none of us are safe. None of us will. <laughs> oh boy, despair made manifest 12 forehand. Is there not uh, that it can be done for those poor souls? No, after that it's done. Not, but uh, one thing I know, I know. Why we must lay them to rest, contain the threats. I wish this was voiced, by the way. I really do wish it was voiced. <laughs> they are at peace. Would that it had come to this. I was powerless to prevent it. You did all you could, Elder Seatseer. Is that what's going to happen to us? Is there no hope? 
What you witness was the fate of those who fall to deepest despair. It feeds upon grief and anguish, and is more deadly than Glyphnir itself. But as I swore to you that we shall defeat the blasphemy that haunts our homeland, so too do I swear that uh, despair will not uh, be the end of us. Uh, keep the faith and look uh, to the horizon, for our brighter days will come. As you say, Elder Seasir, as you say. Glyphnir is not here, and so you are, are free to return to your homes. I but urge you to take care on pa uh, the path back. We will, Elder Seatseer. The storm has passed, but a darker tempest roils in the distance. Man, that's said right at the perfect time for a storm. So long as the uh, uh, specter of despair um, looms, the people will struggle to take any word of comfort at heart, uh, to heart. We will see more tragedies like this. The elementals uh, too cry out for a solution. The longer we struggle to resolve this crisis, the more innocent lives we put at risk. Or Raya Ose said uh, we would need to turn to the elementals for assistance, and I know now that she was right, and so I will speak audience with the Great One. However, there is uh, our preparations I must attend to first. I shall make the proper uh, ablutions uh, at the Lotus Stand. Pray uh, let, uh, return to the Adder's Nest and await uh, my summons. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, my summons. Okay. I don't think I'll be able to do another one. I don't think. We'll see. Yes, Rogan. Nice. Nice, who Destiny. <laughs> Bunny boy. A lot of new players. Despite our best efforts, we have uh, been unable to prevent further loss of life. I foresee even greater hardships ahead. As we press on... Okay, alright, alright, alright. I don't care what this kid says. No way! No, what? I have another one? Wow, this is a level 87 one. Wow, I didn't think that was gonna happen. Alright. Alright. 